Hi, it's Bill at Machinery Consultants out in Salt Lake City, Utah. I'd like to thank you for your time to preview this Bridgeport vertical milling machine. This happens to be a model Series 2. It's an original Series 2 vertical Bridgeport mill. What a gem it is. All right, coming down. The machine happens to be serial number 7122. Thanks, man. Serial number 7122. I can point out the original chrome. Flaking here. Absolutely gorgeous condition. Lower electrical control panel. Series 2 has the 11 by 58 table area. Offering 15 inches in the Y axis. 15 inches on the knee up and down. Now additionally, the way this table is set up, with these stops, it'll go approximately 34 to 35 and a half of edge travel. The machine set up with power feed on the quill. It's a number 40 taper. Currently running at a, what, a thousand RPM? A thousand RPM. The machine is set up with a rear mounted shaping attachment built into the ram integrally has a six inch riser block built into the frame integrally. And the ram is a one piece design. Comes back to accept the shaping attachment. Very cool. So it's mounted on the front of the knuckle in other words, right? And it runs great. So all original machine, we've gone through the electrical motors, uh, running the machine now at a thousand RPM. Let's go ahead and run through some spindle speeds and some feeds, Frank. I'll take that for one sec. Okay, on the speeds, it goes from 0 to 100 variable. That's 100 IPM. On the spindle speeds, we go from 50 to 3500 variable speed. 5 inches of quill travel. It has the built-in built-in power feed on the quill, manual quill, number 40. Now when we say number 40 taper, that's a number 40 Ericsson NST NMTB, but it has the Ericsson not on the bottom. Clear, Frank, that was gorgeous. set up with an auto lube system. Should we show them the electricals? Why don't you swing that panel open for me, Jerry? So rear mounted shaping attachment coming down to the American electricals. Gorgeous. Clear. Okay, you can close it back up. You can close it back up. I just wanted to show the panel. It's pre-wired at 440 volts, 460 volts, whatever. Back here. Where are we at, Frank? Back here. I got carried away on the back side. Running them back here. Again, 50 to 3,500 RPM. You can take the clipboard, bro. Okay, we're running through the electrical panel down here, the control panel. Until we change the speed of the feed and select the feed. For the cross, the knee, the saddle. I'm going to park over here, Frank. Down. Coming back, coming down. Cross. 
Beautiful. Give this another chance to show off those chrome, the chrome finish. It is gorgeous. So we'd like to point out the condition of the uh, the saddle. The, uh, the table area. Very, very well maintained machine. All the lubrication's been gone through and checked out. All clean lines, fresh lunch, uh, automatic lube system. These dials are just blowing me away. Did we mention all four of the motors? Let's see, we're all of the, uh, these motors have been gone through. The little DC motors, that one. This one here. Okay, this is better than last time. We're at six minutes and change. Going to the spindle. We're doing good on time. Variable feed rate off the potentiometer knob. Buttons are for off, on, up, down. So this was the option of the quill power down feed. There's a little circuit board in there. We went in and we freshened up the little circuit board in there. As a matter of fact, we uh, we insisted upon replacing the little circuit board in there. Bridgeport items off the shelf. Gotta love it. Should we show them the uh, shaping attachment? Yes. Let's do. Okay, so this is pretty cool. The way it's set up is we're gonna turn it on and off off of the uh, controller on the front side here. Clear? So the way this is set up is you would obviously loosen up your, your bolts here for your, for your column. And you would rotate this 180 degrees. And you'd have your part set up on the table area. Boy, that's cool. Eight changes on the strokes per minute. 60 up to about uh, what is it? 380. Thank you. All right. What a nice machine. Oh, we almost forgot. The owner's manuals. And also, we have the number 40 slash NMTB NST spindle tooling here. Have some real nice pieces. Let us know what you may be interested in. We have the uh, keyless drill chuck, integral on the shank. We have a universal micro bar. Now, let's show them this real fast too, Frank. This is the wrench here. What this wrench is for, let's show them how that works. Let's not take it completely in and out. Let's just uh, or do whatever you want. Okay, so we're gonna stop the spindle on the machine. Hit the brake. This is locked. Now when we go to change the speed out, the spindle tool out. That's locked. That's loose. Perfect. Well done. All right, well if there's any questions that uh, you have or any additional inspection that you would like to hear, let us know. This is Machinery Consultants out in Salt Lake City, Utah. Want to just stabilize that for me? About right here. Yeah. Clipboard, thank you. So again, this happens to be serial number 7122. It's a Bridgeport Series 2. Your machinery consultants in Salt Lake City, Utah. Has the riser block mounted in it. That's a six inch riser block. It has a rear shaper attachment. It's an 11 by 58 cable offering 15 by 34 to 35, by 15 on the knee, by five on the quill, power
power feed all the way around. What a wonderful machine. All American made, it's a Bridgeport American classic. Well, until next time, please feel free to hit me up if you desire to at MCI at machineryconsultants.com. This is Bill Wilson Jr. at 801-531-9500. We're just a phone call away, or just a mouse click away here at Machinery Consultants in Utah. If you have any questions, let us know. Thanks again, have a great day, peace.